Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn about hierarchies on the Scene Explorer. We can think of this as a family tree for the object. Some of the objects are going to be parents and other children. These are linked together and moving the parent is going to move all the children objects too. In 3ds Max, the hierarchy means that the child objects will inherit transformations like position, rotation, and scale from the parent object. And this helps to simplify manipulating groups of objects, which is really helpful to organize scenes. In the scene explorer, hierarchies are easy to find. The parent objects are indicated with a triangle next to the name. If we click this triangle, it will show all the child objects that are linked to it. For this example, let's select this chair group. We can see that there are multiple child objects, like cushions and frames. Selecting the group highlights all the members in the viewport, even though they appear unselected in the scene explorer. What this means is that while the group is selected, the individual child objects are not directly active. Groups are different from other objects. They act as a single unit, even though they consist of multiple elements. For example, if we select a single member of the group, we can see how the entire group is selected and not the individual objects. Also, the groups are a non-renderable container. This means that if we try to hide them using the eyeball icon in the scene explorer, nothing is going to happen. If we select a single object in the scene explorer and then click the eyeball icon, we can see how it actually hides it. Freezing, which is the snowflake icon, works in the same way. And this can help us to lock the objects so we don't select them by accident. With the shift key, we can select multiple objects in the scene explorer. To select all the child nodes in a group, quickly right click in the viewport and then choose select child nodes. It will help you to hide or freeze these objects at the same time. One last recommendation. In the Scene Explorer menu, under Display, turn on Auto Expand to Selection. With this enabled, anytime you select an object, the Scene Explorer will automatically show and open the whole family tree, which is fantastic for big scenes. That's the basics of working with object families in the Scene Explorer. It is a powerful tool to help us keeping complex scenes organized. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching.